Well, here comes the long arm of the law. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring from Cobb County, Georgia, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Big Boss Man. Truth and justice on display. The Big Boss Man. Saxon, you take care of those parking tickets yet? Well, he's about to teach. Somewhat a lesson in law and order. I fought the law and the law won. The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because L.A. Knight is here. And yeah. his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds. L.A. Knight's not a fad. He has proven himself to be legit. He's trending because his star is white hot. typical WWE superstar, but he has become one of the top names around in short order. He is truly maximizing his time right now. LA Knight is ready, and this one's official. Knight is out here not just to grab the spotlight, but to take what he thinks is rightfully his. At one point, Knight's dream of competing in WWE seemed like just a figment of Knight's imagination. Now Knight is making up for lost time, and as he says... Taking out the trash. And across the ring is none other than the Big Boss Man, an old school enforcer who holds nothing back on his mission to deliver his personal brand of justice. Yeah, when it comes to facing the Big Boss Man, nothing is easy. He's a gritty competitor who won't get shaken up by a few big hits. Once he gets his sights set on a target, he is absolutely unrelenting. Ow. Big time knee, Lariat combo. Set up for the side Russian leg sweep. Oh, down by the DDT. And as tough as Boss Man is, that one seems to have caught him cold. Sky high. Pulled out of the way. Nobody home. do some serious damage. Boss Man's looking powerless to every attack. Yeah, Bob, he's got him covered. And skirts out of the pen. He might have been putting the cart before the horse with that pin, but it was worth the try. Right to the face. My God. LA Knight just oozing confidence tonight. You got to think it's tough to compete with bravado like that. Yes and no. Knight thinks he's got this one, but that could be an asset. He could be looking past his opponent tonight, which leaves an opening for him to be caught flat-footed. It's up to his opponent to capitalize on that. Lands the knee drop. Oh, boy, ready to strike, guys. What are we going to see? The close line. Using the elbow as a weapon. He's starting to struggle here. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Right across the face. And stopping away in the corner. Just ruthless. It goes without saying that. There is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. He is looking to do some serious harm. Back makes the cover. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. He's taking 
get some serious hurt, but somehow he's still in this. I think he managed that kick out on pure instinct alone. And now the question runs in the mind, how am I going to be able to end this? Tossed into the corner. Oh, that'll rattle you. Does he have him here? A kick out at two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. DDT! Oh, using the knee. And now thrown back into the ring. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top. Oh, elbow drop. And this has got to be it. And there's the win. Huge win here tonight. Here is your winner, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight victorious in this match here. Big Boss Man couldn't get control in this one. His justice will have to be served another day. Well, here comes a true bully. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville, weighing in at 326 pounds, Bubba Ray Dudley! A tag team legend, but has no problem being a bully on his own. And there's no separation anxiety on his own for Bubba. He's extremely comfortable competing at a table for one. Bubba Ray's a superstar who lives to verbally and physically emasculate opponents. Brutal in every sense of the word. Yeah, you're right, Corey. It doesn't matter the stipulation of the match. Bubba Ray Dudley always has weapons at the ready. The most loyal man in WWE. Here comes Stax. And his opponent, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Channing Stax Lorenzo! No matter how big a guy might be, Stax will take him on. And if you beat him, you better bury him because he'll keep coming back for revenge. Yeah, Corey, there's no ounce of quit in this kid, and he's got the rewards to prove it. You know something? Stax is always right, even when he's wrong. He's still right. Who's going to argue with him? Only people that want to be fitted for a pair of concrete shoes.
You know things are going to get a little more extreme tonight with Bubba Ray Dudley in the ring. One half of one of the most decorated tag teams in the business. You don't receive an honor like that without a good mix of skill, power, and ruthlessness. Bubba's lack of concern for the well-being of his opponent might only be outshined by his lack of... And look at this now, yes! Oh. He's clearly desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great counter. Look at Wobbly in the corner. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Right across the lyrics. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Lorenzo just couldn't get out of harm's way there. Oh, an elbow drop. Boom, what a forearm. Body slam slipped out. Inverted DDT. Ah, look at this. Oh, that can dislocate something. German suplex. Oh, man. Quickly to cover. Barely kicks out. He really thought that was it. Target acquired and destroyed. All the way to the floor. Well, that's one way to seize control of a match. Change the location. Oh, just completely off target there. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Directly to the chest. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Cutting off the offense with a nasty chop block. Uh-oh. Right to the knee. Um, hammer it away. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Looking for a suplex, gets blocked, and gets suplexed instead. A club with the right forearm. <laughs> and he goes for the pin! He gets the shoulder up in two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Held in a perilous position. Flinged across to the cover. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Maybe not, maybe not! Stop the ref count before two. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Vicious right forearm. Bubba fighting their way out of this position. Will create separation. Uh, shots to the body. Big hook! Can he do it here? And he gets the shoulder up before two. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. No. <laughs> and he barely evades. This has been building and building between them for so long. Yeah, Saxton, it's almost impossible to know what will be the final nail in the coffin for this feud. Dax gets countered. Here.
Let the party start in Dudleyville. What a big win for Bubba. The animal has arrived. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C. Weighing in at 290 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, The Animal Batista! We can list this man's accolades all day long. WWE Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, a man who has main evented WrestleMania. And now Batista simply demands that the WWE Universe give him what he wants. Unparalleled success, both in the ring and in Hollywood, which is insane because for some reason, the WWE Universe has never appreciated Batista quite enough. Well, no question about it. Batista will demand the respect of the WWE Universe right here tonight. And here he comes. And his opponents, first from Saudi Arabia, weighing in at 235 pounds, Sam Yee! The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one.
The competition level has never been higher, but this guy's ready to prove he can hang. Oh, this is my favorite part. He's gonna sing. Y'all know what time it is. This is the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this or you can get with that. You better get with this. Cause this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make him disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till they next get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Then many times I be busting them up like a pimple. Stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show shot bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? The OGOC in the building. Always ready for action. Aimed at the opposition like a machine gun. And representing the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 213 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Carl Anderson. He survived some of the harshest training in Japan. When you look at Carl Anderson, you're looking at a man who has a different level of threat. Now, he may like to crack jokes, but when Anderson's back's against the wall, he becomes a focused and extremely dangerous competitor. A textbook definition of a mercenary in WWE who will have your back if you have his money. I've seen your paycheck, Saxton. Carl Anderson will never have your back. Let's get things started with a fatal four-way matchup, a real clash of styles and egos tonight. This is really one of those who wants it more type of matchups that puts you through the ringer. Into the corner. This can't be good. He must have seen that coming. He's got the answer for that one. Punch right to the face. shoulder a no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook he thinks he has it the pen's broken up and it's Anderson and he heads out of the ring no count outs no worries if you're looking to cause quick sharp damage you can't go wrong with the kendo stick out of the way in time And now gets tossed into the ring. And Batista gets warded off. Oh, man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one.
Batista looking a little less sure of himself than he usually does. This is certainly not what he wants. Yeah, a very motivated Anderson in front of us. Driven down. Boom! And a big boot. Oh, my God! Drop kick from behind. Ouch. Look out! Oh, Matt Slam with some attitude. And Anderson fends him off. Boot to the midsection. Hoist it up. Now that's what you call impact. And he tosses it back. Oh, God. Oh, what a counter. Blows right to the body. It's two on one. Oh, what a shot to the gut and another one. Looks like they are putting aside their differences for now. Wonder how long this will last. As long as it needs to, Saxton. Oh. And the DDT! Uh-oh. We're in the table! They're gonna take it to the next level! What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end. Finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Oh, man, come on now. Not a sledgehammer! Comes caught with a neck breaker. Big forearm. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, the truth taking the fight. Is it enough here? And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Going right after the neck. Big time neck breaker. Throw the leg sweep. Nicely done. Giving a mass 
decisive effort to overcome the pin attempt. Anderson! Carl Anderson with the gun stun! Carl might have him. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. Point. This is a critical moment now to see who can find a way to keep going. Oh, Carl answers back. DDT! And Anderson continues to find a way to forge an attack. We knew Anderson had this in him. We knew how effectively he can take charge. The fallaway slam. And there's the cut. Absolutely thrilling, fatal four-way win here tonight. All three of his opponents really made him fight tooth and nail to capture the victory tonight. There are only three things certain in life. Death, taxes, and Charlotte Flair. She is inevitable. An entrance fit for a queen. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, the Divas Champion, Charlotte A woman who helped usher in a genuine women's evolution in WWE alongside her fellow four horse women. The most highly decorated female superstar in the history of WWE and a guaranteed future first ballot Hall of Famer. Born into this business, the daughter of a two-time Hall of Famer, Charlotte was always destined for greatness, and she has definitely achieved it. When you talk about the mountaintop in this business, you are talking about Charlotte Flair. Truly in a league of her own in WWE and showing no signs of letting up. Gentlemen, pay respects to your double champion. I already am. Well, double your respects then. And her opponents, first from the Philippines, one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, and one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Kaden Carter! 
There's obviously a lot of pride for her that comes with holding both these championships. You know what they say, though, Cole. Pride comes before the fall. I really don't know what more she can want other than retaining both of those championships. She called herself a whole lot of women ready to do a whole lot of whooping. like a tank, but moves like a cat. Uh, if Nikita is a tank, she's certainly an aerodynamic tank. Three of WWE's top competitors ready for this triple threat match. We are set for action with Charlotte, Caden Carter, and Nikita Lyons. Always a feeling out process in the early goings of a triple threat. You want to gauge your distance. You want to know just how much real estate you can have to yourself. You don't want to be the first one targeted because things can snowball against you quickly. And a series of vicious knee strikes to the body. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. German nine! And she finds an answer to Charlotte. Up and oh, knee right to the spine. And she's thinking of recovering now. Still time to run away if she wants to. Now we're talking. This sledgehammer might be what decides this match. Straight to the knee. Goes without a save, but a leg injury will hamper your ability to do just about anything. Well scouted by Charlotte. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Ooh, takedown. Corey, would you agree that triple threat matches can lead to unexpected alliances? Oh, absolutely. Triple threats create circumstances that lead to interesting bedfellows, allies out of necessity. Eliminating the strongest entity so you can go one-on-one -on -one is a common game plan. In the nose. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Russian leg sweep. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Caden put a hurting on her with that one. She manages to get control. Uh oh. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Oh, look at the double team here. Uh oh. Double flapjack. Can't stay the best of friends during the duration of this match, but they got the work done there. This might be the start of something. She sent flying into the corner. Counters with an attack on Charlotte. Oh, kick finds it. A dragon screw ankle breaker. Nice. Into the ankle breaker. The legs are base that you cover. She breaks the count quick. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. And no count outs means she has the whole outside to play with. 
Nice standing backbreaker and takedown. Back elbow blows that one up. Face first with a waistlock. Can she do it here? Broken up. And the match continues. <laughs> Driving the face down. Sleeper applied. This could be. She breaks the hold. And the queen hits a spear. Oh, Charlotte waylays her. That might be it. That could have been it right there. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. The Queen looking disgusted to be in the ring with her opposition now. Payne must be shooting through that leg now. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. She's able to get... Muscling up their opponent. Uh-oh. Good timing with that reversal. Uh, she's trying. Trying to create space. She just turned it around. Good defense. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. Oh, kick. Nasty kick. Charlotte able to steer clear. Scouted there. She avoids the attack completely. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. And back into the ring she goes. Devastating elbow. It is uncanny how these women are still going. Sheer will, sheer desire to prove they belong on top of the women's division. And she's stunned in the corner. Through the arena. She's rummaging around under the ring here. Shades of the OEC dub as a candlestick is introduced to the proceedings. Elbow puts an end to that. A oh, roundhouse kick. Oh, well scouted by Carter. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Lights out here. Oh, no, maybe not. Running interference. Lock it in. The dragon sleep. Right. No. Big form. She's starting to drag a little bit. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Pinpointing the leg. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. They're delivering the chop. Oh, natural selection. That can do Carter in. Shoulders down. Here is your winner, Charlotte What a tremendous effort from all three superstars involved in this hard-hitting triple threat. There's a reason this is called a triple threat match, gentlemen, and these three superstars just showed us all why.
Here comes the heart of Chase U. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making her way to the ring, representing Chase University from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, The Hill. Having come straight out of high school to NXT, Thea has made it clear she doesn't want her youth to define her. Yeah, Thea Hill has to prove that she really is a grown woman who can hold her own. And that means no more waiting, no more asking for permission. Time to stop being a student and start teaching lessons. Thea Hale is a true ball of energy with endless potential. She's been living up to that potential and is ready for the next level. Well, time will tell if she's got the aggression to get there. A Hall of Famer and one of the trailblazers in the women's division. And from Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly! She kicked her cape to the curb and found her true calling grinding people into the mat. Perhaps the toughest woman in WWE history, and she's got the Hall of Fame ring to prove it. That's the bell, and as you can see, Thea Hale is ready to make a statement here tonight. Not the most experienced member of the roster, but she's getting better with each match, with every bit of adversity thrown her way. She's looking to be the next big thing here in WWE. The opportunity to prove herself is hers for the taking tonight could be that... Uh-oh, Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. That's a shattering oh, arm. Knee drop arm breaker. We know Molly Holly can hold her own in a tough matchup, but Corey, how can she make sure she comes out on top in this one? I think the key is going to be Molly leveraging her impressive technical know-how. She's a serious competitor who can tie you up in knots and find unique counters when she needs to. So the more technical she can make this match, the better. Stomp to the leg. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Ah, Northern Lights Suplex! She's setting something up! Suplex brings them down! Carefully measured knee drop! Thea experiencing a bit of a setback with that maneuver. Yeah, it could be a moment where Molly tips the scales in her favor. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. We could have been looking at a count out there. Yeah, you just know that would have been a deflating result for the WWE Universe. Ooh, what a full club. Ooh, walloped by a huge club. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Uh-oh. Look at this, look at that, that torque of the leg. Power leg breaker. She avoids the contact. Nice 
Japanese arm drag. Oh! Via avoids impact. The whole ring in between them. Ah! Oh, there's the old. Oh! Damage to the hamstrings. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And we've seen how this rivalry has escalated to the point that no one involved cares about the collateral damage they've caused. Hell, Michael, they don't even care about their own well-being. They just want to destroy and embarrass the other. These two trading one blow after another. Oof. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Slugging away with everything they've got. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Who will break first? That is the question. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. She's showing signs of slowing now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oof. Great reaction from Holly. <laughs> Evading. Big time Lariat. Starting to fire up. Where does the superstar get this from? This is incredible. Oh, man, by the hair. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Ouch! Connor! She scores big with the counter! She wants to end this once and for all. Uh, oh, Jeff, she's got a table. Oh, no. What does she have in store What's she going to do with the table? Can someone please stop her? Through the table. Let me ask you fellas a question. Is there anybody meaner than Tamina? No way. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Pacific Islands, Tamina! Tamina's coming.
come so close so many times to title glory in WWE for over a decade. Finally, Tamina would experience that crowning achievement, becoming one half of the women's tag team champions alongside a fellow veteran, Natalya. Guys, Liv Morgan just living out her dream here in WWE. Yeah, Liv's career has just really taken off. Became Miss Money in the Bank and then successfully cashed in the contract to become SmackDown Women's Champion. We are about to see a martial arts masterpiece. Both on the ramp and in the ring. Zaya has an impressive martial arts background. Zaya is certainly well versed in the art of combat. The protector has arrived. Zaya Lee brings such a dramatic intensity to the ring. The double champion is here, flashing her gold collection. And from the Queen City, the NXT Women's Champion! And the NXT Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair! You cannot deny the dominance she's showing the women's division, holding both of these titles. Which just makes her even more of a moving target, Saxton. <laughs> the WWE Universe is still buzzing about the double champ. And I can't say I blame them. Hey, it's not easy carrying two championships everywhere you go. How do you do it, Byron? You're both the baldest and the lamest. Oh, ha! stop, Corey. That's not funny at all. And here we go with this tag team matchup. Things now underway as we see Tamina and Liv Morgan. And this is sure to be a barn burner of a tag match in this encounter with Zia Lee and Charlotte Flair. We have to be expecting a frenetic pace in this matchup. These teams stop for nothing. They are all go from bell to bell. Tag made, she's in. Left by the turnbuckles. These two trade encounters, an absolute master class. Oh, setting them up, gonna hoist them up high. Fall away slam into a kip up. <laughs> Tamina gets out of harm's way. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah. Oh, Tamina gets cut off. Across 
across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. Got the underhook. Bang! Backbreaker. Lock it in. The dragon sleeper. Man. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Powerful contact by Tamina. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. She's pushed into the corner. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. That's the to get the advantage here. Moved at the right time. Knee lift! She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Down to opponent, and a double axe handle smash. She got her down, is this it? Not even a one count there. She's still in this one. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Oh, flapjack. Gosh, landing face first. Momentum is completely shifted to Tamina. Charlotte trying to withstand this surge. And she makes it to her partner. Tag. Oh, man. Right to the R. Hyper extends your elbow. Got a boot in the face. Set up in the corner of the ring. In full control here. Oh, face full of turnbuckle. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Exploder. And here's a cover. She kicks out at one. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Hey! Liv is losing any kind of advantage here. Zaya is firmly in the driver's seat. Morgan timed that one well. Solely focused on punishing the leg. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Well scattered by Liv Morgan. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. She responds with a counter. Nicely done with the head scissors. In comes Tamina. Ooh! Dropkick finds the spot. And Tamina didn't see that coming. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Sidewalk slam. In off the tag. Strong takedown. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. And a series of vicious stomps. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. to the R. Hyper extends your elbow. Liv Morgan picking up speed. 2-0-1 face breaker. And she's in off the tag.
Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Oh, by the hair! Whipped across the ring. That ain't right. And Zion's focus got a bit shaken there. Yeah, Tamina displaying a higher level of aggression. Section 112. Tag is made, and here we go. Jumping complete shot. Ken Morgan clicks this one. Makes a cover. Three, no, a two count. I don't know where Charlotte found the strength to kick out of that one. And with that outcome, maybe Liv just saw this one slip through her fingers. Each competitor wants to prove that they are the toughest woman walking God's green earth. I cannot believe the punishment. These superstars, she's going for it. And there's the save. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. The queen is looking to put this thing away. Four locked in. She's got a bridge, Corey. Figure. Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. And now she's looking to go top rope. From the top. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. The wheels are turning in Zaya's head. The tables hooked up and boom. This has been an epic encounter. These fans are sending the decibel level off the scale. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Up to the second row. Bulldog. She's starting to tire a little. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Tag switching it up. Ooh, timely counter by Lee. Single leg drop kick. There's the switch. Charlotte is in. Connects. This is a bad position for her. Tagging her partner in. Super kick for the win. Oh my goodness for the teammate. Not Just quite in time. Tamina heading up. First with a waist lock takedown. Oh, dead lip. Oh, hitting me. <laughs> Sent into the corner. Uh oh. And she denies Charlotte. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. From behind, chop block. Oh, that's scratching and clawing. This could be it. No, kick out of two. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Set it up. Nice neck. Play it possum. Whoa. Play it possum. And she fights it off. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't either. Can this ref even count the three? Zaya gets 
her back. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh. Right to the kidneys from behind. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. their opponent's uh, legs and uh, oh. alley-oop! They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down, and here's a cover! Could be it! Stopping the refs counting two. She just won't stay down. Comes in off the tag. Should have been three. I couldn't agree more. <gasps> what a match. What a match. Two for one face breaker. Target is set on Lee. She's in peril. <laughs> and she has an answer for Lee. Oh my, leaping roundhouse kick. Victory nearly in hand for Lee. Coming to the rescue. the tag oh my dragon screw targeting the ankle gosh what a man oh look at her step through here it comes figure four locked in submission is in live and she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Elbow drop. Knee crusher. Just relentless. Good luck walking after this. And she'll make the tag. Not stopping the leg. Just nasty. Oh, that's going to sting your back. She steers clear of that one. Into the corner now. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Up to the second row. Bulldog. And Morgan simply won't let up on the fight. Somehow Liv Stamina is still keeping her going. Tamina is fired up and wants this crowd to know it. Look at her, taking in all the energy from the crowd. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Back. A dragon screw ankle breaker, targeting the ankle. Stomp to the arm. There's a tag. Driven down face first. Ooh. And she heads to the floor to think of her next move. Uh, time for some deep breaths. Got the underhook. Bang! Backbreaker. Monster set up in the corner. Tag is good. Raw tag made. Oh, and a kick. Right to the midsection. Tough position to be caught in here. Ooh, that's a shot to the throat. Oh, and that buys some time.
Up to the second row. Face first, driven down. It could be over here. This is it. And they're still in this. Well scattered reversal there. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Uh, set out Matt Slam. And there's the tag, Tamina into the ring. Climbing the turnbuckle now. From the heavens, splash from the top. Exclamation delivered by Tamina. Tamina with the finishing touches on this one. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo. down from on high. Wow! One of the very best to ever do it, Shawn Michaels. Weighing in at 227 pounds, the 
Michaels has enjoyed a lengthy and impressive career defined by memorable and historic victories. A back-to-back -back Royal Rumble winner, the first ever Grand Slam champion, competed in the first ever ladder match. I hate to cut you off, Michael, but HBK's accolades could go on all night. He's a true inspiration, a shining light in this business. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. And his partner, representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett Hitman Hart. I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxton. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. Now this is a must-see kid of WWE. And from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee! He was known as a tag team competitor before joining WWE, even won the Dusty Classic and NXT Tag Team Championships early in his WWE career. But now has grown as a singles competitor too, winning the NXT North American Championship even. Somebody call air traffic control because Wesley is about to take flight. Prepare to see an air of the display like none other. The WWE Universe just exploded. This is someone I can give my full support to. Someone who has the guts to stand up for what's right. What are they, a knight in shining armor? Give me a break. This is a match he's craved for quite some time. He's ready and raring to go. Tag team action underway. Two teams duking it out for supremacy in this one. We talk a lot about who the best tag teams of all time are, but these guys are tired of talking. Both teams are looking to prove themselves and steal the show here tonight. That arm's going to be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Ooh! Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Uh-oh, submission move, Fujiwara. Trying to find a way out. And he's out, but 
delivers a knee. Shot to the chest. Turning the tables there. Saw it coming. Close line. That will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Close call. That was almost lights out. Impressive reversal from Michaels. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Uh-oh. He's able to fend off the attack. Goes down low with the drop kick. Pulls the ripcord. Ripcord knee. Ah, look at this. Oh, God, that hurt. Shifts it back onto him. And he sends him into the corner. And an assisted drop kick. Putting up a united front as this match continues. The pinpoint kick to the back. Oh, ouch. Boom. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Wesley setting up in the corner, sizing up his opponent. What are we gonna see here? A front flip DDT. Talk about dismantling your opponent. He's going for it all. Watch out. HBK with a moving target here. close to ending it all there. There's the tag. Hooked up. Oh, shin breaker. Down with the leg drop. Staved off that attack. Stomp it away, and then the knee right into the throw. Just ruthless. Is the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Measured elbow drop driven down. Uh-oh. And Brett gets countered. into the corner. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Nasty shot. Now the blood is flowing from Wes's face. Oh, shit. This could do it. Save. Uh -oh. Still got more fight here. to the lower body. Oh, and a reversal. Sudden cutoff from Brett. Oh, the European uppercut. Just a surgical approach we're seeing from Hart. Can West recover from this adversity? And he gets the tag. The hit. Going up. Uh-oh. But right hands create separation and an escape. Oh. Elbow oh. right to the nose. Ah, oh, flipping the 
the script on him there. Ooh, that'll kill you over. And a big time knee drop. He got whipped into that corner. Uh oh. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. And the ring general Hart perhaps getting a little outmatched and outsmarted there. Bentley to Bentley. Cover. There's two. He wins. He wins. Here are your winners. The team of. And Bret Hart is the one to put this one away for the team. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft. Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of WWE, you think of John Cena. Cena kickstarted the Ruthless Aggression era and has defined WWE ever since. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. Introducing first, from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the WWE. Elimination Chambers, Money in the Bank matches, and the most WWE title reigns. He's also won the hearts and minds of the WWE Universe. Yeah, as fickle as the audience can be at times, they know true greatness when they see it. We are witnessing greatness. All right, I love this guy. And his partner from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Chris Eric O. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good.
Keeps his focus 100% of the time. That's why he's the champion. Bray Wyatt has given himself over to the Fiend. One of the most malicious, venomous, bizarre superstars in WWE history. Ask anyone who has had the misfortune of coming into contact with The Fiend. It is an experience that will change your life forever. And certainly not for the better. I know his hands say hurt and heal, but The Fiend seems to focus more on the hurting. Where The Fiend goes, suffering follows. This frightening monster is ready to devour anyone who stands in his way. An eerie supernatural force, and at times seems totally unstoppable. Good luck to his opponent. The Fiend is unlike anyone or anything we've ever seen before. Listen to yourself. The disease known as Hulkamania infects more of the WWE Universe each and every day. I, for one, hope the opposition tonight can finally find the cure. Face of this company all over the world. Well, he's got the look, he's got the skill, and he's got the heart for sure. He's got everything he needs to be one of the greatest of all time. And this tag team match is sure to be filled with exciting action. These teams want the win bad tonight. And Could be nap time. I'm not. He doesn't have long to get out of this sleeper hold, but he's figuring it out. Boom! Oh, kick. Punch lands. 
Cena going low. Look at wow! Sunset flip powerbomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. DDT planted him. Dominating shoulder tackle. A oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Jarring impact. And that's the kind of offense that can send the Fiend back into the shadows. Yeah, that was that hustle of Cena he's always talking about. A counter by the Fiend. Great counter! Elbow drop. Piercing. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Gotta hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Uh oh Makes him pay with a counter. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. In the corner. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. Thunderous clothesline. Sequence of reversals there. Close line! What impact! Whoa. Nice running crossbody. Just breaking down the opponent. He catches Cena with a counter. And I know the WWE Universe feels cheated.
Oh, I'm so excited for this matchup, guys. Wait, wait, wait. wait. From behind, from out of the WWE Universe. Oh, look, look out. out. Never saw him coming blindside attack. Uh, how are we supposed to have a fair match now? That's a cheap and cowardly attack. It's all about getting an advantage no matter how you do it. Finally, these superstars have made it to the ring after a vicious surprise attack while entering. Certainly not how I thought we'd be starting this match. Man, it's just a little friendly warm-up before the match. There is nothing friendly about jumping someone when they're not looking, Corey. Had Michael scouted there. Uh-oh, reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Push! This match grinded him down a little. Oh, man, what a strike! Rope assisted drop kick. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. the count. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. And finds a counter. On, up and around. Down with a tilt the world backbreaker. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. This could be a tipping point in this match. Pure poetry in motion from old HBK. Look. HBK tuning up the band. Bam! Sweet gym music. Big time move from Michaels. Here is your winner, the Heartbreak King, Shawn Michaels! Able to squeeze out the victory despite being waylaid by an unexpected attack earlier. And you know, I think this win sends a pretty clear message to future opponents. A message that says it's not that easy. A cheap attack won't ensure victory for you.